No, it does. No, it does. Because on my off day, I'm going to come over to your workplace and disrupt your paycheck. Well, it looks like Chris Eldane thinks that his social media presence is so big that it entitles him to special treatment on the water. This is the same guy that gets on his podcast, The Bilge, week in and week out, with guests making baseless accusations about guys buying waypoints and getting information from their tournament partners. Meanwhile, he's filming he himself publicly breaking Rule C6, the sportsmanship rule, along with the Angler Code of Conduct. Now, you might be asking, where does this sportsmanship rule C6 come into play? Well, let's read what it has to say. C6-2. Maximum courtesy must be practiced at all times, especially with regard to boating, angling on tournament waters, any act of a competitor that reflects unfavorably upon efforts to promote fisheries, conservation, clean waters, and courtesy may be reason for disqualification. Now C7 is the Angler Code of Conduct. Let's see what it has to say. Anglers are frequently in the public eye and are considered role models by young people. Therefore, it is imperative that tournament competitors demonstrate good sportsmanship in fishing. Sportsmanship is defined as fair play, respect for opponents, and polite behavior while competing in the sport. Following are examples of unacceptable behavior by competitors or by others on behalf of competitors in bass events that will be cause for penalties as outlined in this document. Heated public disagreements with bass officials, other competitors, and fans or volunteers during an event. Public comments that an angler knows or should reasonably know will harm the reputation of bass, bass officials, or its sponsors. Displays of angler and displeasure for reasons related to fishing competition where members of the public, including other anglers, spectators, and the media are present. Yeah, we're looking at you, Gerald Swindle. Abuse, physical, verbal, threatening, or slanderous of tournament officials, volunteers, fellow competitors, or others connected with a bass event, including comments on social media. So, enough of the rules. Let's roll that beautiful bean footage. Hey, pal. Where do you work? No, it does. No, it does. Because on my off day, I'm going to come over to your workplace and disrupt your paycheck. Threatening another angler? Really? Come on, man. You're casting towards the bank and he's behind you. Don't let him get in your head. Turn your butt around and concentrate on what you're there to do. Dude, you got Bass Live on. You know there's a fucking tournament going on. Bass Live? Are you kidding me? Bass Live didn't care about your 28th place finish. They're actually in the boat with Trey McKinney, who ended up 6th in this tournament. Dude, it don't matter, dude. It does matter. I get it. I get it. It's your spot, dude. one day off a week. I'm enjoying my That's fine. It's a Y'all heard the guy, right? He's some blue-collar cat who gets one day off a week and just wants to go fishing. He's just hoping and praying he doesn't run into some jack wagon trying to run him off his spot. Here, I'll get closer. Pull the phone back out. I'll get closer. All right, when you come to South Carolina, Lake Murray, come to this spot right here. This guy in the champion owns this point. Yeah. Throwing where we can cross lines, my guy. That's him right there, boys. Of course he pulled out his phone to get a picture and maybe even record. Why? You're supposed to be a professional angler and you're supposed to be a stand-up dude. Instead, you're out there showing your butt to the world. He should have taken that footage and reported you to Bass. I'm going to come to your workplace and disrupt it. Just remember, okay? Really? Going after him with a second threat? You realize talking like that, the local police department could consider it terroristic threats, dude. You might have had a criminal charge coming with the way you're running your big mouth. Mother's Day. Mother's Day? What does that have to do with anything? I mean, are you feeling a bit cranky? Do you got a bit of an itch? Don't worry, Chris. If you get too cranky, you can always hit up your buddy Randy. I hear he has some supplements that are helping getting him through the change, too. On top of everything, Chris made a second video bashing the guy, too. I mean, come on. If he had listened to Mental Mondays, maybe he wouldn't let the guy get in his head. All I know is Chris Zeldane throws a lot of stones for a guy living in a glass house. Talk about self-snitching. He filmed himself breaking rule C6, and by those rules, he should have been fined or even disqualified. All I know is you cannot be treating John Q. Public like that as a professional angler. It's a bad look for you, and it's a bad look for Bass. Anyway, guys, that's just my opinion. 
Some of you all love it, some of you will hate it. And for those trolls out there that like to comment and run, I have a friend named Colonel Frank Slade, and he has a few words for you. And Harry, Jimmy, Trent, wherever you are out there, f you too. Anyway, that's it for today's video. I appreciate each and every one of you for showing up. Thank you for being here. Please comment, like, share, subscribe, and even join the channel. But until next time we meet, do me a favor. Get out there on the water. Enjoy each other's company. Don't get on each other's butts. If you see their boat close to you, chat him up. Most importantly, you got to get out there and keep it wet.